Well, it's been a long journey, but I can finally say that my Voron V0 3D printer is finally complete. Or at least I'm satisfied with how it's operating. Build stuff. The build series of videos was taking too long and wasn't getting a lot of attention. So I decided it was kind of a sunk cost fallacy kind of thing to continue grinding away at those. So I just decided to make a summary video instead. I've got a much more exciting pressing project to get to, so make sure you're subscribed to check that out. Hint, it does involve some carbon fiber. This was a pretty difficult project. I would rate it an eight or a nine out of 10 on the most difficult projects I've ever successfully completed scale. Along the way, I learned a lot about printer firmware, stepper motors and drivers and what their limitations are, and of course, a lot of tweaking and tuning. I've gone through a couple of iterative changes. At first, I was not satisfied with the performance of these little 3010 part cooling fans. So I made a mod so I could mount dual 5015 part cooling fans. That helped the cooling performance, but I was never quite satisfied with the performance of the Bowden extruder and E3 V6 hot end. My overall print quality was kind of just okay. Not really as nice as what I'm getting out of my Ender 6 with BQH2 direct drive extruder. So I built and installed the V0.1's mini afterburner direct drive tool head with Fatus Dragon High Flow Rate hot end. That seemed to do the trick and now I'm quite pleased with the print quality that I'm getting. I also upgraded the A and B drive stepper motors to the more powerful versions from the V0.1. That along with the high flow rate hot end is what allowed me to print this really ugly Benchy in 12 minutes and 40 seconds, which is my official speedboat race entry. And you can see a video for that over there. I could definitely push it faster, but that would require a bit more modding and upgrading and tuning. And that's another project for another day. So let's take a look at some cool parts that I've printed on this machine. Here's your standard Flexirex, real popular uh, thingiverse part, printed really nicely. The lack of stringing from the direct drive extruder helps with the overhangs and these little print in place mechanical assemblies. Printed this very cool SpaceX Dragon capsule model from Fab 365. These guys make really cool models at a very, very reasonable price. Comes apart. Also printed this Merlin engine assembly for the Falcon 9 model. Look at that. How neat is that? Most of the parts for this were printed on my Ender 6 because of size constraints. Probably be pretty cool to take this model and scale it down and to a size that could print on this printer. Project for another day. Here's a super cool threaded jar that I printed. This used up, you know, most of the build volume on the printer. Look at that and the threads Work nicely, of course. Printed a bunch of calibration cubes. And of course, an absolute armada of 3D benchies. Thanks for checking out the build videos. I hope you thought that was cool. And if there's a particular part of the build process that you'd like me to cover, hit me in the comments. There's a lot of technical details that I could potentially cover and maybe save somebody the headaches that I've gone through. So that's it, my Voron V0. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because my next project is gonna be super cool and I can't wait to get smashing on that one.